I remember uncovering a quote that was on my refrigerator when a series of disasters had happened to me. And it was a, a magnet that a friend of mine gave to me. And I'd had one disaster after another happen to me. And when I looked at that quote, I'd never paid any attention to it before, but it somehow leapt off my refrigerator. And it said, no, whatever comes unexpected, to be a gift from God. And it will surely serve you if you use it to its fullest. It's only this that you strive for out of your own imagination that gives you trouble. Know whatever comes unexpected to be a gift from God. And it will surely serve you if you use it to its fullest. And so one of the ways I'm using this time, I can't change the fact that there are roadblocks now, not letting anybody out of this village or into this village. I can't change the lockdown and the severity of the lockdown. But what I can do is use it to its fullest and spend time each day being so grateful. I'm here with my loved ones, that I somehow have food to put on a table, that I, even though there's no money coming in, as a matter of fact, we're living off of savings, that I'm able to serve life. And for the last five weeks, I've been creating these videos to support you through this unprecedented time where many of us are struggling and in stress and have lost our income. And so take time each day, create a little journal of what you're grateful for. I heard today from Gabby that one of our Journey Beloveds, she's working for a beautiful well-being center in Gwingana in Australia. And she said she uses every time that she has to wash her hands as a time for meditating on what she's grateful for. Just grateful that she has soap to wash her hands. Grateful that there is water coming out that it's actually warm because there's electricity to warm her hands and just uses every part of her day as an opening to experience gratitude. So besides all the healing effect of living in gratitude gives to your body and how much it actually heals you biochemically, it allows this joy to emerge. So what is it that we're going to do? Focus on the little things that we're grateful for and cherish this time where life has invited us to slow down and stop the busyness and go inside and nourish yourself and invest in yourself. 